The trophy is ready. The stage is set. The stars are out at the 25K Super High Roller. This is Party Poker Live Millions UK. Welcome to Dust Till Dawn in Nottingham, England. Thank you so much for joining us. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. We are with you until we crown a champion. First step though, getting to the money and Brent one stack feature table to kick off our day two coverage. Absolutely loaded and how about this new guy? Maybe you've heard of him, Adrian Mateos, the <laughs> conquistador. He's joined us today. Leon Sukernick, there he is, he's run up a stack. Christoph Vogel saying he's our short stack, Jeff. The tractor, he's gotta get things going early. The milkman, Makita Bonsakuski, Reiner Kempa, and how about Luke Reeves? For 435,000, that's Kale Burns on the button. Look at Burns' stack. Yeah, might I add, our chip quite leader. The day. Burns makes the call. Again, it's Chrissy B, the Party Poker Team Pro, all in for 435,000. She shows King Queen. We saw a flip. I may have saw a medium Burns pair there has for Burns. Ace 10. Oh, Ace 10. Jack in the window, it comes Jack 7-5. So far so good for Burns. Blank on the turn, Chrissy B needs to find a king or a queen. It's a four on the river and that will do it for Kristen Bicknell. That's it, Jeff, our power couple. First Alex Fox and now Chrissy B, they're gone, Fox eliminated. Eliminated right before we came on the air. Our stack is just quite vulnerable. And we, we like, we're actually Playing the 30-60 level, 15 big lines. What are we doing with Ace-8 offsuit? We have to see three. 10-10-7, ten, ten, two diamonds. Makita is the eight of diamonds. So hard to fight in these spots. Mateus. 120 again, 110. A little bit of a, a down bet, if you will. Gets the job done quite often. What is that? Look at the beer. Thank it's a Thank you for art. making me feel like a boy again. Happy New Year. What is in the bag? Is that a, that's his beard? Oh. That is facial Who hair. is, it's his? For Joe's beard. 275. Hmm. You look much better without beard. So somebody Get shaved. somebody else's beard. Yeah. Somebody shaved. Shave the beard and put the, beard the hair in a plastic bag. And How about that, Makita, with the check raise on the 10, 10, 7 with Ace That's that what is, we should be focusing that's on. That's how you find a that winner. That is impressive. Uh, this is the hell with it. I've got all the tens. You have none. Check raise all in. Lay up, shove. Gets the job done. That is. No a wonderful I play by the milkman. You know, saying that yeah. it's something inspirational. It makes you young. It's illegal in the UK, right? Clean shave. Illegal? Illegal. What? It's in UK. We, we to do what? To, I don't know. Smoke, for example? Smoke? Yeah. But there's no beer. beer. Huh? It's his beer. Oh. <laughs> 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 He shaved, and this is his beard. <laughs> 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 For the whole period, I saw it was me. Barada, right? So, Barusky, Barada. On Pabrias, he gave me his beard as a gift. <laughs> so Strange looking weed. Yes. <laughs> He's so confident. <laughs> he oh, he chanted. So Christoph Vogel saying so ace four on not, the button. Yeah. About five bigs to start Don't this hand. It. Yeah, we're all in here. Good enough. Not Just trying to avoid Makita. really any confrontation. Even if it goes fold fold, they'll be happy to pick it up. 310, can you confirm that? Reiner with the 10 9 off. I think it's the link Gets a count, makes the call. Christoph Vogel saying all in at risk. Against his fellow countryman, Reiner Kempa. Vogel saying ahead for now, the ace four. 
end ball in the window. It comes King 10-9, two pair for Reiner Kempa. Kristoff in very bad oh, well. shape, does turn the ace. Couple outs here. Is the Jack of Hearts on the river, nothing doing for Kristoff. And that'll send the tractor home. Yeah, back to the farm. Or to the main event, whatever he chooses. Uh, certainly gonna fire the main, no doubt about it. And uh, man, just a, a rough event for Kristoff. Yeah. Never, I don't think I ever saw him more than starting stack this entire day one or day two. Nice Nothing little boost to Reiner Kempa's stack. Ben Heath, Lucas Reeves, Leon Supernick, Makita Batsukuski, Reiner Kempa, Adrian Mateos. Our feature table with the Millions UK Super High Roller. What does one do with a bag full of beard? I, d I do not know. Still very confused by all of that. That's Yakuski. The ace jack on the button. 20 big blinds on the button. Sort of hand I'd feel very comfortable getting it all in with. That'll make it 125K. Sizes it up just a hair over the min raise. Trying to induce. King seven for Mateos in the big blind. Uh, would like to see a call, take a flop. That's what he does. Mateos and Makita, heads up. Oh boy. Jack 7-7. Seven, seven. Trips for Mateos. Jackson 7s for Makita. Both players clearly in their mindset thinking we've got it all. Makita is thrilled to have Ace Jack here. When in actuality he is crushed. Does have the Ace of Diamonds. Party Poker Team Pro is in some trouble. The down bet to 75K. But yesterday he didn't wear the sunglasses. Today he brought out the shades. He's going to need more than a pair of Rex specs to fight <laughs> his way out of this one. Real curious to see what Mateos does with trips. I would assume we just call. I would like that. He's going to go for the race. Makes it 210,000. This is war. Raise. Look at this. Announces raise. How much is the minimum? We've got a three bet. Wants to min Pot. three bet. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to induce. 345. Wants to make it 345,000. This is why Mateos' raise on the flop is so delicious. Ask for the minimum. These guys are just clicking buttons back and forth. That leaves Makita with 770,000 behind. Now we can just call with three of a kind, and here we go. Makita wondering, oh, I have the Ace of Diamonds. What does he have? Does he have some sort of combo draw? He would never do this with a jack, would he? King of Clubs on the turn. Remember, we saw Reiner Kempa fold a jack in the small blinds. Adrian 
mind checks. Again, Makita bet the flop 75,000. Mateos check raises to 210. Makita then three Ladies bets to 345,000. Mateos calls, and here we are on this turn. It goes check, check. River is a nine. Adrian's hand is best. What does Makita assign Mateos' hand to be? We now just have a horrible decision to make. Uh, we can assume that Mateos is going to move all in here on the river with his full house. All entries in the feeder. That starts in the market. Go through swing through and take your seat. You do a total rewind. It's one of those spots, Jeff, where when you bet the flop on Jack 7 7 with the ace jack, you are either way ahead or way behind. Clearly, he was way behind, and that's what led to this moment with this raising war on the flop. How about this? We're going to check. This might just. Let Makita happily show down this loser with ace jack. Can Makita escape without losing any more chips? I would love a check back here. I'm happy to get the showdown considering what happened on the flop. So strange. Yeah, you could be missing out on value, but would a worse jack even call? And would Mateos ever play any sort of jack in that matter. Look at this. He's going to fire it out there. Clearly in his mindset, this is all for value. That's 590,000. Leaving himself a little bit behind. saying this, but I'm just not certain. I like the way Makita played this hand. The milk Makita man. frustrated now after Mateo shoves. He knows he has the worst of it. the chips in, see the bad news. That'll do it for Makita Badziakuski. He has been eliminated. A tricky hand against Adrian Mateos. Makes it 300K. Lucas Rees with the ace king of diamonds in the big blind. We could see a collision here. Yeah, really just a cooler situation here for Mateos. Given, given the level right now, yeah, these hands colliding, uh, it seems pretty inevitable that ace queen just has to go all in. Mateos the started button. the hand with less than 25 big blinds. The three bets to one million. Yo. The question here? is, there we go, yep, all, all in, in call, yeah. Reeves snap calls, Adrian Mateos all in and at risk and behind. His ace queen going up against the ace king of diamonds of Lucas Reeves. Let's see if the conquistador can get a little lucky. Not on the flop, it comes six deuce four. Backdoor spade draw for Mateos. Backdoor wheel draw for the chop. But for now, needs a queen. It's a three, so a five would chop things up. Mateos looking for a queen or a five. It's a nine. And that's it for Adrian Mateos. 
like you said, Brent, just nothing he could no, do there. No, really. I, I mean, <laughs> it's so hard. Ace Queen at the, it's yeah. just at the bottom for Mateos to get it in. I, yeah, you hear Baton. They call him the Wolf. The Wolf. To Dwyer's left, we know him. It's Igor Kurganov. And the Wolf getting involved early, raising it up with the Queen Nine oh, yeah. in early position. This is what the Wolf does. Action player, high stakes cash. You've seen him on Party Poker's big cash games throughout the years. Anyone who gets their name written out as the Wolf by our graphics team, they're already legend a winner in my book. Absolute legend is right. Well, the Wolf has some work to do. Burns flops a jack. The Wolf fires 600,000. Oh my goodness. Max pressure. Max curiosity from Kale Burns. The Wolf with 1.3 million behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it well. Yeah, I was surprised. The whole menu has like three, veg two vegetable things. I thought they might be more. Give Burns up. makes the call. He knows what his customers want. Yeah. He just wants something else. And turns two pair. Yeah, if you're at all doubting that your jack was behind, let's try on two pair for size. Check, check. Rivers the five of hearts, almost 1.8 million in this pot. Oh, poor Cal, we're thrilled with two pair. We know a better hand is never checking behind. Happy to just stick this thing in. The question is, is he better off checking in the event that the wolf could bluff it off? And he's gonna bet 800, quick fold. Another pot for our chip leader, Kale Burns, approaching the 10 million mark. If I'm watching the tape, I'm certainly looking how wide he's willing to open those sorts of hands, given his stack size. And we do know he's on the snugger side, so clearly he was looking to raise fold if he faced any resistance. And here comes Mr. Reiner Kempa. And oh boy. Leon with Jax behind. Bad news for Kempa. And look at this, just calling. Leon just makes the call. King, queen for Kale Burns. Cal may bow out of the way here. Look at that. He he reads a lot of strength by both hands. Reiner opening under the gun. Obviously has the goods, given his stack size to start the hand. Ace king for oh, Igor Kurganov on the button. My goodness. Oh I my. Anticipate a three-way all-in here. Igor should be shoving. Reiner will move it in, and I believe Leon is going to call it off with two jacks. That's got to be a part of his plan. And in his mind, he is trapping right now. 520. Three bet to 520,000. And isn't this interesting? Lucas with sevens yeah, that he has to throw into the muck. Reiner knows that Igor has a premium, right? I mean, is this a way out for Reiner? with two nines. You, you saw that sort of grimace with his face just a moment ago. An annoying spot. Let's see if he can figure this out. Leon looks quite strong to me as well if I'm in Reiner's situation. Three. Look at Excellent that. Excellent fold by really Reiner Kempa. Fold. It lets him off the hook and Leon, and Leon just, just says, calls. okay, I'll call. Let's see three. 1.3 like million behind. I really like this. Put your sit belt on. Let's get ready for a ride. It comes 7 5 3 rainbow. Good flop for Leon in those jacks. 
good. All of them. How much that? Igor might not give up Ace King. If he thinks Leon could have a once in a while Ace Queen here, Ace Jack, obviously we can call. And for the times that he just assumes, yeah, we're still flipping, I was happy to get it in pre. He may come along for the ride. This is difficult though. 1.3 million essentially now for Leon all in. It, not kidding a great price with Ace High. Perhaps now a way out for Igor, having not connected with the flop. You already have a pair. Good read. I was obviously going to go if I had a pair. It would have already been in here. That also true. No shame in folding. It really isn't. You read me good. Good lay down from Kurganov. Good pair. Better than I thought. And my goodness, did Reiner get let off the hook there with yeah. two nights. We just have fireworks every other hand here. The three bet this time is to 575,000. Do you know how much he's done with? 2.8. 2.8. Thank you. We know how sticky Cal is. Does not like to fold. I don't think Ace Queen suited is going into the muck. I anticipate just a call here. I don't see any reason to play for. Roughly 3 million, which is what Igor started the hand with, 2.8. You gotta be a little worried about Prebin right behind you. What a hand that's playing out here. I can also see a world in which, ICM wise, maybe you do just hit the muck with this. Got a stranglehold right now on the chip lead. Maybe trying to avoid these situations entirely. If I'm in this spot, I think my hand is too good. I'm happy to put in the 575. Let's peel. And if Prebin then goes bananas behind you, obviously Igor not going anywhere with Kings, we can get off the ace queen suited. He is going to make the call. Action on Prebin Stocking with the Jacks. What a sick and twisted spot now <laughs> for Stocking. You have 5.5 million. You're in contention right now with plenty of chips. Do we just mine with jacks, essentially, get involved three-way? Do we ever consider just mocking and avoiding this already murky situation? Uh, I think with all the money out there, I'm happy to just try and hit a jack. Oh, my. He shoves. Music to Kurganov's ears. Fold. Burns folds. There it Igor is. Kurganov in fantastic shape to double up. Really a cooler for uh, Prebin. No, no, no. Fortunate he'll still be alive no matter what, having Kurganov covered. <laughs> two red kings against two black jacks. I'm feeling low Me too. Comes king for deuce, uh, a decent flop, I would say, for kings against jacks. And the double for Igor Kurganov. Just flops him down to jack-jack. Uh, Kurganov has been so active. <laughs> His third squeeze since we started this final nine. And what a timely payoff here, running kings. Considering top five pays. Reiner is our short stack. He has nothing to lose. Let's just get it in, try and pick up some chips. He has walked right into the goods here. Ace Queen of Hearts for Previn Stocken. Would have folded with a hijack, yeah. Thank you. Well, Kempa hauling in at risk and needing a little help. Queen seven of spades against Prem and Stockings, ace queen of hearts. Can Reiner get there? It's 4-4 four, four, deuce. Kempa looking for a seven. 
It's a five on the turn. And an ace on the river. As we say goodbye to Reiner Kempa out in ninth. Just really couldn't get anything going all day or all tournament. Yeah. You know, he stuck around. Uh, he, he made a little comment there. He would have folded that hand from a different position. He's ten of spades for Steve O'Dwyer. Chiseled, some Defends would say. Defends in the big blind. Nobody would say. Oh, sorry. <laughs> King 9 3 1 spade. Lucas out flops O'Dwyer. Still continuing with middle pair, representing that sort of range advantage. He should have all the kings as well. A Despite pretty big continuation, Yeah, bet. we're going to tell that story. Yeah, we only have a nine, but let's go ahead and put out that C bet. See if O'Dwyer comes with a little bit of a fight. He gives him the shirt. Did you give him the shirt? This one, this one yeah. Dwyer, non believer. He does have the back door. <laughs> Nut flush draw. Royal could come home. some support in the crowd. <laughs> I have some support. Got Seven of hearts. Not a fantastic right card. <laughs> Very nice. Opportunity now for perhaps Lucas to check Did back you know a nine and try and pick yeah, off yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. a yeah. variety yeah. of river bluffs. If yeah, we do yeah, think our man is on yeah. a flush draw, we may need to deny some equity. And he will check he it back. It's yeah. a, a great card to try and pick off a bluff with. Oh, your name, name, name. I think you know what? In Reeves mind, a bet here from O'Dwyer representing a king and a flush only. Maybe queen 10 once in a while, but we block that hand. It's thin. Let's see what the sizing is from Steve if we do. In fact, bluff, here it comes. He's going to go for it. Just saying, hey, look, I, I've got it. Look at the I'm sizing. Looking says, for yeah, a little look, value yeah, You're going to call here. I'm going to show you a yep. king, right? And, look and at the that. quick wow. fold. What a story there by O'Dwyer, right? Fully expected a call by Mr. Reeves. The Wolf rips it in with sixes. Aces for wow. Lucas Reeves. Shove is for 910,000. The wolf on his feet. Jacket comes on. It's like he knows. You'll see the bad news right now. The wolf all in and at risk. And behind comes Jack nine nine. <coughs> the wolf looking for a six. Can he find one on the turn? No. The mic's off already. Can he find the six on the river? No. That'll do it for the Wolf. He even tried every trick in the book, <laughs> taking the <laughs> shirt off, on. taking the mic off. Let's put off the jacket. Let's stand yeah, up from the chair. What about this? Lucas limping in oh with my. the ace. Queen Leon has kings in the small blind. He'll rip it in. Kale Burns has ace eight in the big. What a tricky limp by Lucas up front with ace queen. Obviously poor timing considering Leon has king king, but Kale now so curious. Uh, perhaps... No way, considering that Lucas will be limping anything that strong. My question is, how, we haven't seen Lucas limp at all, period, over the course of two days. For, for him to do it now, what sort of hand holding is that? I would probably give him credit for just having a pretty good hand, right? Trying to be sneaky. <laughs> Ten times more than me. <laughs> I'm missing the zero. Cal having an ace in his hand, ace a, thinking, oh, this blocks some stuff. Maybe I'll go with it. Nice fold there. And just a quick call by Lucas. Leon Sukranik all in and at risk. What a time for two kings. Ben Heath just said, oh, no, sat back in his chair as he saw the bad news. <laughs> Leon's got the goods. Can he hold? We saw one ace hit the muck. If Sukranik is eliminated, we'll be on the bubble. 
But he's in good shape right now. Six six deuce two hearts. Lucas does have the ace of hearts. I love that dramatic flop build too. Very yeah, slow, one card at a time. Build the drama. Queen on the turn. Five outs now for Lucas Reeves. We know one of those outs is dead. How about the other four? It oh comes in goodness. on the river. Ace of diamonds okay. Okay. to eliminate okay. Leon Sukranek. How does it happen? Oh, this game is just not fair at all. And Leon goes out, bowing out on the river. Makes it 550K. Lucas Reeves looks down at fours in the big blind. I don't see any reason whatsoever why we would do anything other than just call here. Oh, he shoves. No. Kirkinov is going to snap call. Reeves is in some major trouble on the bubble of the Millions UK Super High Roller. Wow. Will Reeves be saved by a four? Not yet. Does pick up a couple backdoor draws, though, as he does have the four clubs. But for right now, he needs to find a four on the turn. It's the king of clubs. 11 outs. Needs a club or needs a four. It's a three of hearts on the river. That'll do it for Lucas Reeves. Out in sixth place on the stone cold bubble of the Party Poker Live Millions UK Super High Roller. Oh man, that is yeah. just brutal for, for Reeves. He was sort of coasting into a cash here trying yeah. to collect his career best score with any cash. And that is a misstep certainly on his end. There you go, he says. He is. A Dwyer, a hint weaker. Um, he hasn't given me the check count yet. He hasn't started. 2,400,000. Or 2,445,000. Very bad. I have a feeling it's whatever it was before, plus 400. 2, 2, 545,000. Okay. The clock starts now. You play 8. Under eight, right? Seven, seven, yeah. seven, five. does make the call. Ace eight. And Very the defending champion fight. of this event is on the ropes. Yep. A slight underdog, but all in and at risk against Igor Kurganov. Comes 8-7 deuce, rainbow. It's still fair. Still hunting for a king or a jack, our defending champion. Does not come on the turn, but it opens up some outs. He can hit a nine as well to double up. Needs a king, a jack, or a nine. It's the deuce of spades. A valiant effort to defend his title, but we'll have a new Millions UK Super High Roller champion. Steve O'Dwyer out in fifth for $75,000, and it's 75K, Brent, that he's got to be pretty happy with. Yeah, what a showing. 10-9 off for Kurganov now. Shortest stack stocking in the big blind. Just about committed. I have to go this one. Yeah, I'm all in. Right well. Finds these four of hearts. That's very reasonable, and that's a fair fight. Yeah. 
Previn Stocking all in and at risk with that ace four of hearts against Igor Kurganov's 10-9. <laughs> About a three to two favorite. It's king five five, two hearts, pretty good flop for Previn Stocking. And now a large favorite. Igor needs a non-heart 10 or 9. It's the 9 of hearts. Has some full house outs here. You got two outs now. <laughs> Could river a 9 or a 5. Ace on the river. Ace high flush. Not stupid. Ship the double up to Previn Stocken. Not stupid. Didn't change the equity. Previn Stocken, ace 8 of hearts. A little more than six bigs. And good luck. Here we go. The shove. off with queen 10 on the button. Lays it down, Ben Heath with ace king. It's like 1.35, right? It's 1. It's minus small by now. No, it's fine. There's the reshove from Heath. Hell burns with the A6 of diamonds. Uh, He's shoved for about 2.5 million. 2530. <laughs> burns will lay it down. Good luck. Revan stocking in a bit of trouble. Thought we were alternating sweats for a bit, but now all in and at risk with the ace eight of hearts against Ben Heath's ace king. Seven four three one heart. Backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw for Previn, but for now needs an eight. Jack on the turn. Previn stocking down to three outs for his tournament life. Needs an eight. It's a five. Did you guys? Yeah. Previn stocking battled throughout these last two days. A fourth place yeah, finish like will go on his bit. resume. He'll take home $100,000. Yeah, and yeah, he's really proven yeah. himself in these high rollers now. I think with this. Fourth place finish. Effective shove from Kurganov in the small blind with the king five of spades. Yeah, this would just surprise me if we call it off with the right. jack nine. And I, I get it. It's a, it's a fair fight. It's a fair gamble. It's, it's relatively switched from the time when he had ace four and, and Igor had queen jack. But I think we're folding ace four off. We should certainly be folding jack nine off. Blinds right? behind. Maybe he's made an immediate adjustment because of the separation between he and Cal. So used to hating using them, but I mean, like you got that. a lot. Says might as well throw a time bank in there. Give me an additional 30 seconds to act. And Igor has shoved every single time in the situation. It looks like he made the call. He did. He did Here with we go. the Jack Nine. Ben Heath all in and at risk. With Jack Nine up against Igor Kurganov's King Five of Spades. Kurganov wins, will be heads up. Comes 10 6 4. I'll take. What do you want? You want an 8 or a 20? Backdoor straight draw for Heath. You're not the greedy type. You don't want a jack or a 9. I know you. 7. For now, needs a jack or a 9. 7 8 would be brutal. 7 does come on the turn. He did ask for it. He so now needs a jack, 9, or an 8. To double up. Did so many hands. Find the jack. Yes, for the jack. Come on, Matt. Doesn't get it. It's another seven. 
That's it for Ben Heath. That'll do it out in third. Takes home $150,000. Yeah, Ben the bullet in here for just one entry. Just sort of hung around with yeah, two really million did. chips. Got it up to his peak at 3.5 million. Did all he could to grind his way into a, a top three podium finish. Once again, tremendous showing out of Ben Heath. Where I watched Cal Burns overcome a two to one deficit against Sam Trickett, where Trickett was denied that first World Series of Poker bracelet by Cal Burns, taking that title home. You gotta, you gotta keep me in there. What a year he had, 2019, the campaign of Cal Burns, best of his young career. 4.3 million dollars in career earnings. Seemed like he won a tournament every other week. Yeah, four titles for him in 2019, including two World Series of Poker Europe bracelets and a Poker Masters title. It's kind of two different stories here. We have the momentum of Cal Burns, and we have a relative drought of sorts for Igor Kurganov. Yeah, Kurganov won 1.8 million dollars for the entire year of 2019. He's used to winning 1.8 million dollars in every tournament he plays. <laughs> He's looking to start 2020 off with a bang, get back on top with a first place finish at the podium. Which would be his first win since 2017. Burns turns an ace here. As he tries to chip away at Kurganov's big chip lead. Igor already knows that he doesn't have the best hand. You could just tell by the look in his face. He knows Cal has it. There you have it. Giving it some extra thought, trying to find some bluffs that we can pick off. The over bet. 10-9, 10-jack. Like Burns with Four, five, five, six. There are plenty of straight combos that completely bricked out here. Easy for Cal to maybe represent the ace, and if Seems that's the case, rather than something else to me. I pinpointed it there. All right. Oh, All is right. he going to pay him off? All right. Does find the fold. Went back to his initial instincts. Yep. You could tell right away he wanted to fold, and he thought too long about it, almost found himself an incorrect call. Mm. Settled on his first instinct. We heard him say it feels greedy rather than something else. How about that trophy, Ooh. huh, Jeff? You have any trophies? Uh, no. That middle school kickball contest doesn't count. No, either. I wasn't I good enough that. to win kickball. You know that. Oh, no, you certainly weren't much of a kicker. <laughs> you have a recent trophy, do you not? Oh, I sure do. Yeah, charity event champion. Charity event. Wars for Igor will bump it up to 550k. Burns with Jack 10 in the big blind will defend. From 7-5 deuce, two diamonds. Kyle has the jack of diamonds. A couple backdoor draws for him. Kurganov's four is our best. It goes check, check. Three of diamonds on the turn. Open ender and a flush draw for Igor to go along with this four is a better flush draw for Kyle Burns. What a fair fight. Uh, Igor with the check back quickly on the flop. He did that before when he had top pair. Taking a very similar approach here. Able to pick off a number of bluffs. Cal has one of those holdings. No pair yet, does have semi-bluff capabilities. Jack of diamonds in his hand. Live pair equity. Burns leading for 725,000. Kurganov does indeed make the call. Another four for Igor. 
you think that this is a great card, but keep in mind this is a one-liner. Any ace, mm -hmm. any six makes a straight. And Cal's story suggests that maybe he could have some sort of six in his hand. I think ace high would be unlikely. It, it seemingly would check that unless he had ace with a pair. Burns will use a time bank. The difficulty is Igor suggesting that maybe he checked behind ace high in the flop. It could have turned some equity. And here we are on this sort of texture. I think he's very close to maybe considering giving up, but if he does go for it, it's got to be meaty. Hold on. That's meaty. Oh, my goodness. That's all of it. 8.3 million. Oh, That's my good goodness, card. Cal. This is ridiculous. This is high level. It's also a bad card, I guess. Ten seconds. Igor, can he study this? Can he pick it apart? Uh, Cal has told a wonderful story. A massive overbet on the river, suggesting, yes, I have all of the sixes. You might even have an ace, and I believe that this bet on the river is intended to perhaps fold out an ace, let alone this set. If Kurganov can find the call, he'll win the tournament. Three. Wow. He cannot. Kyle Burns gets it done with just jack high. Is that a naughty one? Who may? Have a swig. Here we go. Oh, oh okay. Sizable for Burns. Yeah, that's right. Queens with the Queen of Hearts, I have. Okay. In the previous hand. The previous hand? Oh. In the King. Yeah, fair enough. Readers. That makes sense. I think I saved a little money, probably. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. That's an interesting way to look at it, yeah. really, by, the by raising that was coming in strong. Yeah, you anticipate Race. Cal would be getting max value with that king on the river. Back Probably and forth we go. That, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't feel insulted. I assume you're raising that, too. Yeah. Yeah. They're coming back oh in the boy. beer race. Coming too. back strong, yeah. Uh, eh. you want. <laughs> just got his lips wet. <laughs> right. Just a taste, as you would say. Queen Eight of Hearts. Well, maybe for Kyle Burns, Ace Eight for yeah, Igor. Yeah, maybe the sort of hand we do find a three bet with with Ace Eight and if there's yep. a four bet. We can easily fold the ace eight, I, I would have to believe. Although once in a while, maybe against a guy like Cal, we feel good about it. Uh, 2.5 is rather large size. Yeah. You may give up the queen eight of hearts. Something smaller, we may elect to continue, which is why these race sizes are are on the larger side. Look at this. Cal says, uh, you know what, let's gamble. So let's play. Come on, let's go. And he has gotten himself in. Relatively difficult oh, spot. Behind. Completely on. dominated. Going up on. Yeah. You did Five that while working at your own stack, didn't you? Million yeah. in this pot. You're looking at yours. Oh, and it comes dear. nine, four, five, all hearts. Burns flops the flush. Igor has the ace of hearts. Certainly is decision time here for Igor. If we do elect to bet this board, how much? He checks. Is he going for a check raise? 
That is what I'm inclined to believe. Put the popcorn down. Tune in. Goes check, check. Turn is a seven. Igor wondering what would Cal consider checking back on that board. Could he have a maybe just a queen X of heart? Could he have the king of hearts in his hand? Do we still have him beat? And if that's the case, let's give him the perfect price. Let's see what Cal does now. If I'm Cal, Jeff, I like just a call, and we are calling everything on the river, which, which potentially could be an all-in. Igor may like to shove whether he makes that flush, specifically when he doesn't. There is that call. Biggest pot yet in heads up play. Karganov does not river a heart. River's an eight. Could this card change Igor's plan? A one liner now. Any six making a straight. Still have to be worried about a flush. <laughs> and this is twisted. We know Cal likely to just move it in. Igor has a ultimate bluff catcher on his hands. Making that pair could be devastating. Time bank, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. here before he moves it into the middle. Suggesting to Igor that he's thinking everything through. Giving Igor time to potentially come up with bluffs that he can beat. There there is go. the shove. Karganov's turn to use the time banks. You can see how pained Igor is. I, honestly, whether he made an eight or not, doesn't really change much. It, it will certainly confuse him a bit more. Yes, 10 Jack got there. Could Cal have 10 Jack with just one heart in his hand? Is it always just a suited hand he called with Bree? There's the call. He calls. We need a part. That Queen Eight of Hearts is good for a double up for Kale Burns. And just like that, it's now Burns with the massive chip lead. Wait, so can you use it for the turn and the river? That's Love it. turn and river. Full turn and river. Anything. Okay, should we do it? One? All right, sure, man. I mean, not, I guess, uh, yeah. I'm okay. fine with it. I've never heard of this before. You said no, better than the fly, I, right? I just came up with it as well. Okay, so it's on. It's on. Mandatory check is on. For one time bank, it's on. Okay. Force for Igor here. Ace 10 for Kale Burns. All right. I like this game. Jeff, the next time we play, we're going to institute the exact same rules. Fair. I mean, we never really play or no. play with time banks. The only but, time yeah. we play. Okay. Burns raises it up after Igor just limped in with the force. Well, this could very well be going all in. Two fours, considering oh, there it is. Oh, and then the snap well, call from Kale Burns. <laughs> so much for that game. 
<laughs> well, I hope we keep we get to do this thing. Uh, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste! We finally agreed on a new fun rule. <laughs> Igor Korkunov all in and at risk with force. I mean, still a real chance it happens. For yeah, sure. yeah, of course. I'm sort of hoping it doesn't. I'm sorry, Against the ace ten really for Kel Burns. Burns says, as much fun as that sounds, I, I would like to lock up the win here. I can't be on that side. You're seeing it first. It's, you're just, it's just so unfair. Good. Kurganov wants Very the same good. viewpoint. It comes I mean, king-queen-9 no, really with two hearts. Somewhat, like 40 uh, something for now, Burns needs I'll an ace-jack or a 10. King? Turn card. I think that's not How about the jack okay. of hearts? <laughs> Damn, we just and agree. that ah, will like, no. do it. <laughs> the hot streak <laughs> continues for Cal Burns. Right. He nabs okay, his fourth title in the last three Thank months. You. He wins the Party Poker Live Millions UK Super High Roller. He takes Thank home three hundred fifty thousand dollars. And Brent, what a heads-up performance for That's Burns! Nice. Really was unbelievable. Yeah, just Overcame such well. a large chip deficit to that guy, Mr. Igor Kurganov, and it looked like it was the Kurganov show the entire time. Cal swooped in, said, "Not today, pal. This thing's mine." What a start to 2020. Yeah, certainly a great start to the year for him and for Igor Kurganov. An impressive showing throughout this final table. Really ran the show. He'll take home $222,250. Curious to see if both these players can continue this momentum into the main event.